Alright guys, so today I'm going to be reviewing the, uh, the Lenovo IdeaPad Y510P. going to go ahead and do some gameplay later on, but first I'm going to show you some uh, the ports and all that stuff. Okay. So here we have the uh, Kingston lock, the SLI 750M GPU headphone and mic jack along with a 3.0 USB port we have JBL audio speakers as you can see right there and over here and then you also have the micro SD card or micro reader and SD reader and then your indicator lights and two USB ports along with the HDMI out a Ethernet port VGA port uh, the fan for the CPU and GPU heat sink and all power and then that is the recovery button alright you got a backlit keyboard, a touchpad, which this touchpad has some issues, so at first you kind of got to um, go into the settings and turn off the gestures because this thing will just go nuts on you. Um, there have been some talks about the Wi-Fi issues. Um, I have run into a couple issues with the Wi-Fi. Um, primarily at school I had some issues um, where it would drop connection but here at my house I had no issue but what I ended up doing was just uninstalling the drivers and just completely un uninstalling them and letting Windows find a driver for it and it works perfectly now I don't have any issues with it I get good speed on it so no issues there but I'm gonna go ahead and load up some gameplay and show y'all how well the, the SLI works and everything like that. Gonna give you some temp readings and frames, all that good stuff. Uh oh, dang. Trying not to get murdered right off the bat here. Damn, sixty. Oh, slaughtered! I just got slaughtered. Well, anyways, this kind of gives you a glimpse to see what uh, mid-range games run at. Uh, Battlefield gets a little bit less than this. Um, I will post some uh, benchmark videos and maybe some gameplay, of some other games here. But this is what I play on the daily basis here. So, yeah. So overall, this is a really great computer. It's fast. It does everything that you need it to do. Um, it, I mean, it might not be the best for high-end, high-end gaming, but this is definitely mid-range, and it'll last you a few years, four or five maybe, at mid-range gaming, and then, you know, it'll do all your daily tasks, of course. Um, other than the Wi-Fi issues and the touchpad issues, it, it's it's really a great PC. Um, the, the the speakers are really great. I would play some music for y'all or some some sound for y'all, but I mean it it would only matter about how well your stereo is. Um, so if you can get this for under uh, twelve hundred, it would definitely be a great buy. 
Um, if you are going to purchase this, make sure you do get the model with the uh, the 24 gigabyte SSD, um, the M.2, because that is that is really a great thing. The Express Cache it really makes a big difference. Um, I'm going to post another video about how quick this thing boots. Um, it's really fantastic. Um, it, it is a low budget. The build quality could have been a little bit better, but for the money that you're paying, it is really a great laptop. If y'all have any questions, please uh, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll be talking at you.